it doesn't seem like you're trying to help the unborn by having them be born. If you were yes. trying to help the unborn, you would be trying to help the mother and give her whatever she needs in that support. Well, I think not keeping the kid alive. That's not helping anyone. Well, it's helping the kid. Keeping the kid but alive is, is helping it? the kid. Yes. Is it? Yes. Let's give an example, right? One week old child, mother starves it to death, doesn't feed it. Is that murder? I would say yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Now, that is because parents, in this case, we'll talk about mothers specifically, because let's assume father's not in the picture for whatever reason. Okay. okay mothers, I'm not hang on, saying let me, let me that finish. abortion isn't so, murder. Let me, let me say okay. that I'm not saying that abortion so isn't if, murder. If abortion's murder, why shouldn't we criminalize it as such? What is your recommendation for women in the first and second trimester yeah. who don't want to give birth or have a medical surgery operated on them? Oh, well, don't kill the kid, so they're gonna have to give birth or have a C-section, yeah, because they can't kill the kid, that's murder. That's where we disagree then. Well, you're just saying it's okay to murder if I don't want to give birth or have a C-section. I'm saying no, mm -hmm. because you know, that is murder. Mm -hmm. So your justification for murder is like a scar on my stomach. And I'm like, no, can't murder even if you're gonna have like a scar on your stomach because parents are morally obligated to try to save and healthy environment for their child development and a scar on the stomach in no way would justify taking an innocent life. If we know if we know that that decision is, is murder, then why can't we criticize women for it? And why can't because we legislate it as murder? Because I wouldn't necessarily describe it as murder because murder is more of, a, more of a physical act. It's more of a- So is abortion. But it's not, it's- It's, it's not. a physical act. You gotta murder, either- Murder, you gotta like strangle somebody, well, abortion, somebody abortion, put a knife or somebody. Abortion, right, I mean, in the early stages, right? You gotta take a pill, that pill is ultimately gonna kill that kid. Right. I mean, if I, push a, if I push a button and it kills someone, that's still murder, even though I didn't point a gun. No. Taking a pill is different from stabbing somebody or shooting somebody or like strangling so somebody. So someone if someone poisons you, is that murder? Absolutely, that's murder. But that's just a pill. But they- I'm a I'm a physical entity that they looked at and they plotted against and they premeditated. So is the child in the womb. That's someone that they know is there. They premeditated it. Yeah. They're going to the abortion. Some of them are getting the ultrasounds, looking at the ultrasound image and still killing the child. I believe when it's in like the zygote stage, I don't really believe that is like yet human life. They don't have well, organs. It's, it's they don't living. have. It's living and it's human, human life. Well, a lot of like the grass is living. Is that bad to cut it down? Cause it's not it's, human. Cause it's living. It's not human. My category is human life, not grass life. Okay, I could see that. You know, a lot of people are like, yeah, like pro-life, let the kid live. But it's just so selfish to bring a kid into a world when you know that you can't take care of them. And all people are worried about is making sure that the kid is alive, but they don't want to do the job of taking care of that child. Well, let me, let me point out this, there are many, children who are already born who are in that same situation but you've already said we shouldn't kill them right well no don't kill live kids but honestly live like, kids live kids includes kids in the womb i i don't think so I, are they I, not are they not children or are they not living they are both living and children so they are live kids yes okay so then what do you think about mothers who are murdered mothers who are murdered yeah i think we should kill the murderer <laughs> yeah i'm pro death penalty as you can see it's it's my body well, it's if, my body. It's... I want to be able to decide what to do with it. And I wouldn't call that playing God. If I find out that I am not capable of having a child, I want to have the choice to get rid of it. And if I, if my body cannot withstand the pregnancy, I want to be able to save my own life. Well, so I would say, as you said, my body a lot, if there's a body inside your body, that's when I care. So okay, when there's so a child listen. in the womb. So listen. That is a good point. That may, that is a very good point that is not that is often brought up. Um, however, it is not alive yet. It is. If it's not alive, there's no need for an abortion, right? If the if the child's okay. not alive and growing, why do you need to do an abortion to get rid of the living well, child? If, okay. Have consenting to sex is not consenting to having a child. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. For example, let me, I, I think I think you actually I disagree. agree with me. Let me point this out. If I have a button and if I press this button, I know that there's like a 10% chance that when I press button A, it presses button B, which presses button C, mm -hmm. right? And I press the button, I'm consenting to button C being pressed, even though I'm only really pushing button A to press button B. But I know that when button B is pressed, button C gets pressed, or at least there's a chance button C gets pressed. So yes, you are consenting to pregnancy when you have sex. Another example, let's say I buy a lottery ticket. I can't say I only consent to winning, okay? Because that's out of my control. I can consent to buying the ticket, but I can't say I only consent to winning. I consent to winning and losing because I bought the ticket. But why up to 2040? Sounds like just viability is kind of like your only 
point well, here, right? Well, yeah, I mean, it's viable outside of the womb of 24 weeks. Okay, so let me ask you this. A, a one-week-old child gets left by its parents in a house. They don't feed it at all, mm -hmm. and the child dies. Um, should parents get charged with neglect and ultimately, like, the killing yes. of the child? Yes, right? So children outside the womb, they can't survive on their own, right? Right. Okay, children inside the womb can't survive on their own either. All well, right, children outside okay. the womb. Hang on, let me just quick finish. Okay. So children outside the womb, right? Parents have a moral obligation to provide a safe and healthy environment for the child to develop in, right? Yeah. Okay, why do parents not have that same obligation when the child's in the womb? I would argue they do. Um, okay, well, parents, you're using the plural parents. Yeah. At that point, it's just the mother's right, obligation. we can use just the mother. Yeah, so, but it's not a child until, like, 24 weeks it's there there's a there's what is a it then? there's a development it's a clump of cells there's um, a development of the fetus from the beginning to over time so it just given the fact that it's inside of a woman um is the fact that she's taking care of it what makes me and you not clumps of cells we are okay we are clumps of cells exactly it's interesting that it's unethical to kill a child you find, but it's not unethical for the death penalty and to kill other people. Yeah, I can. So why yeah, why is explain. that? Yeah, so why is that? So child in the womb, right? Have they killed, raped, or molested anyone? No. If I was to get pregnant tomorrow. What if I use a condom and birth control? IUDs aren't even that necessarily. Yeah, anytime you have sex, you're consenting to pregnancy. Okay. So you're saying just don't have sex. Yeah, abstinence. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's, that's not realistic. Yeah, no, We're it is realistic. Re I'm a virgin. I know virgins. Yeah. Plenty of them. Okay. Somebody like me, black women have a higher percentage of dying in childbirth. So Do you want to know what, you don't part of why that's true? Pregnancy and go through the trauma of childbirth, you shouldn't have to. Well, you already have a child. So if you like want to avoid that, you should not have sex. Like that's if you want to avoid childbirth. Unrealistic. No, it's realistic. I'm abstinent. I'm a virgin. Never had sex. I'm 21. Totally realistic. I'm yeah, absolutely. Not surprised. At no point should we kill people who are suffering. We should try to alleviate the suffering conditions, but at no point should we kill people who but are the suffering. the reality now. is that that doesn't That's happen. Well, I mean, I'll point out, right? There's a bunch of people living in poverty right now. You're not going and murdering them. So clearly you do believe that, you know, life in poverty is better than death. And even people living I'm in poverty- I'm not going and murdering okay, people well, in poverty fine, because it's a gift. No, 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 listen. Yeah. I'm not going and doing that because I would, go number one, Number one, I would go to jail. That's the first thing. Is you have to you have to go look after yourself first. You have to look after yourself first. And I get it. True. I get it. You're supposed to look after your kid. However, it is not born yet. All so right. So your argument's not viability anymore. Now it's born unborn. Yeah, there, born unborn. Okay. So what? Changed? Viability, while is imp while it is important for that, I am. I guess I'm more born unborn. Okay, so what magically changes in the 10 minutes from when the child's in the womb to when the child's outside the womb? It's the same child. Why can you kill it 10 minutes before it's delivered? Because it's relying on the mother. I wouldn't, okay, I so wouldn't a, say so you is can't a one week kill old, it. So is a one week old born child that relies on the mother as well. Uh, from a legality standpoint, I don't think it should be outlawed. Okay, um, why is that? Because I think you would need to uh, entirely legally redefine what a lawful life means. And so that's what I'm asking you. How is, so? Well, right now, life by law starts at birth. And that's not true. Right, let me explain. For example, let's say that a boyfriend gives his girlfriend RU486, which kills the child in the womb. Um, that boyfriend will get charged with homicide. Another example, if uh, a woman is pregnant, right, and I, I stab her through the stomach and it kills the baby and the mother, I'm charged with double homicide. Right, so we ultimately do acknowledge that life does begin in the womb. I'll also point out this, in the Con United States Congress in the year 2000, I'll get to kind of everything, but in 2000, US Congress voted unanimously to delay capital punishment, the death penalty, on a mother who is pregnant until after she gives birth. So we all acknowledge that it is a human in the womb, including legally, we just provide a certain exception for mothers because as a society, we've decided, you know, women should be able to murder their children. Why aren't you going, instead of like trying to stop abortions, why aren't you trying to advocate for more resources instead? Like, why aren't you at a church asking them and then telling them, I okay. I'm critical of churches. I already said that. Right, but why aren't you there instead of here? 
Well, because, I mean, I, well, I'll point out this, right? So people on this campus, some are Christian, some are Catholic. 54% of abortions are people who are Christian and Catholic. So I'm not just speaking to people who aren't religious. I'm speaking to people who are religious. I'll point out that a child who's, you know, lacking resources, who's already born, maybe in foster care, whatever, they at least are protected from being murdered right now. You're saying, you know, I'm trying to protect children who aren't legally protected from being murdered. I want to protect them. You're saying, no, don't help them. Go help some other kids. I'm going to help these kids because they're the most vulnerable. They don't need to have a right to life that is guaranteed under law. How are you helping them? How am I helping them? I'm trying to convince people to not kill them. That's yeah. helping them. Yes, I'm also trying. That's helping them. Yeah, trying to convince That's people. Yes, them. yes. That's helping them. Yes. We, we right? our Excuse organs me. are functioning. Our heart is beating. Our brain is wired in a way that we can function and provide for ourselves. Which you said earlier, a, a child a week out of the womb is not able to provide for itself. Yeah, we can't kill we're them. We're able. We're able to provide for ourselves. So, the child at, it can't. You're not killing a life because That's outside living. of the womb. It can't provide for itself. If you were to kill us, yeah, you're killing a, a human viable life. But if you were to take um, the clump of cells at 10 weeks out of the woman's body, it can't defend itself. So we can kill humans who can't provide for themselves? No. Okay. That's not that what was, I said. Was... I don't want to see people living like that, but I, I'm not going to go kill them because, yes, so... number one, that's against the law. Mm -hmm. And number mm -hmm. two, it's not my place to oh oof. oh yeah there we go so real quick you said uh you like, said you wouldn't go kill the people who are living in poverty because it's against the law that, but i would but say listen, that listen, you shouldn't listen, kill the listen, child listen. in the womb because it but should they, be against the law the which people, criminalize it as murder but the why can't the mother say yeah i want to have sex but i don't want to have a kid why is that evil because that's the same thing as buying a lottery ticket and saying i only consent to winning okay when you have sex there is a risk that not, you, there no, is a chance you have sex pregnancy is the act of buying the lottery ticket in that metaphor yeah right so winning, Which means you consent to winning and losing. With pre with sex, you consent to having a kid, maybe not having a kid. You consent to both options. Just like when you buy a lottery ticket, you consent to winning and losing. Either option. You don't get to choose. Well, actually, you do. That's the beauty you, you of get modern to choose, medicine. You get to choose to just have a winning lottery ticket? Uh, no, but I get to choose to have an abortion, and then I don't and I'm have saying, to have a And kid. I'm saying you shouldn't be able to why get not? to choose. Why not? Because why it's the premeditated, unjust taking of an innocent human life. The kid's already created. You're not being forced to create well, a kid. The kid's already created. To You're just trying to kill the kid. If you decided to carry the pregnancy to full term great if you decide to not carry the pregnancy to full term great why like, that's murder it's what gives you the right to say a woman cannot have an abortion as yeah. a man who yep. does not have a uterus yeah what gives you the right let me ask you this uh is rape wrong yes okay you can say that even though you don't have a penis i don't have a uterus but i can still say that women murdering their unborn children is wrong the validity of an argument doesn't depend on who's presenting not it if a woman says the same thing i'm saying it's still just as valid the child is not born yet so it cannot but what changes born and unborn born and unborn it has a social security number it has a birth certificate it so is, if I don't have it those is alive things, can you in kill the me? in the it is born it is alive in the eyes of the law it is alive in the eyes of the government my argument is that you should decrease uh uh overall suffering yeah, I mean, we should, you're right, we should try to decrease suffering as much as we can, but that doesn't mean we should kill those people who are, are suffering or who are going to suffer. We shouldn't kill people who are going to suffer, we shouldn't kill people who are suffering, we shouldn't kill innocent human beings. Well, we should help people who are suffering, again, not that's, kill them. Again, that's not my determination to make. But your argument is that we are going to help people who may end up suffering, who are suffering by killing them. That's not good logic. Uh, no, I'm not saying we're going to, I'm saying uh, we're, you're going to prevent suffering by killing them. That's bad logic. Yeah, so you want to start by stating your position on abortion? I I think abortion is really the top of the pyramid. I feel like, why don't we discuss everything below it, like the birth control and the prevention behind it? Well, okay, so what I would point out is there's many underlying causes for murder, but we still have laws against murder, right? Like, for example, single parenthood, um, also like economic factors, right? There's so many underlying causes of murder, but we still need to have laws against it because it's the premeditated, unjust-taking innocent human life. In the same way, there's many underlying causes for why women are getting abortions, but we still should have laws that prevent the premeditated, unjust-taking innocent human life, which is abortion. You know, one week old child out of the womb, right? Needs the support of their parents. If the parents don't provide that, the parents are charged with neglect and homicide. Yes. Okay, child in the, in the womb needs the support of the mother. The mother fails to provide that by killing the child with abortion. Okay, she's not that's killing murder. the child. How is she not killing the child? Because they're sucking out a clump of cells. They're sucking out an innocent human being. You can keep saying clump of cells, but a child in the womb is no more a clump of cells than you and I are clumps of cells. Okay, but people are saying that abort that that miscarriage is abortion. It's not. Okay. Just like you... an earthquake isn't a massacre. Okay. 
that's good to know. I'm, I'm actually glad we touched on that. I'm really glad that we touched on that conversation. Thank you. Um, but I mean, for that level of severity that you're talking, I feel like you just had a war with the woman. Like, yeah, it might be wrong, but sometimes you just gotta like, you know, sometimes you just gotta hang your hat because it's not, you know, from a moral standpoint, yeah, we get it, but you know, it's just not, you could, you wouldn't want to try him at the stake for that. Well, out of love, out of love for your fellow people. You know what I mean? Like sometimes it's, just, I, it's I don't, not worth it. I don't think it's out of love that we should allow certain human beings to murder what others. Do you get? There's good and there's bad, right? So for example, murder, that's that's a wrong. So we impose that but view on people. murder is only that, wrong if you remove it from its context. That's what I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. Because murder is unjustified. Murder is unjustified. That's no, by definition. That. If I murder my landlord, that motherfucker deserves it. If I murder the president, I don't think fuck so. that bitch. He steal, stealing shit, killing people. Sh shouldn't it be up to the parents to decide, hey, um, pretty much all the odds are against my child living. Should they be able to terminate that? No. Why? Because I don't think that humans should have the right to choose whether other innocent human beings get to live. I feel like you shouldn't be able to tell me what I can do with my body. Well, if there's a body inside your body is when I care. I don't know, man. Wow. Yeah, so I don't care really what you do with your body, but if there's a body inside your body that's innocent, that's the body I'm trying to protect. I feel like you shouldn't be able to control other people's bodies though. Well, I don't think you actually believe that. For example, um, I can't hit him right now, I can't hit him right now, right? Even though I'm using my body, okay? So we can't use our bodies to harm innocent human beings, right? If a guy like rapes like An woman, analogy though, you're using an analogy. No, I'm stating like something like, concrete like for example like let's say a guy rapes a woman right that's wrong even the guy's using his body we can't do whatever we want with our body when it impacts another innocent human being so if there's a body inside your body i oppose you hurting that body by killing it through abortion so then what do you think about people who are pregnant and they're drinking and they're smoking Shouldn't do that. should they bring that child into the world yeah. still so would you bring a child into the world knowing that they'd have like a 0.001 percent chance of living yep why? Why would you do that to a kid? Because why? Why would you murder the kid? Because, uh, honestly. Because what? They can be recreated. You can't recreate an innocent human being. If someone kills you, you can't recreate you. Okay, Every but I am unique. a grown adult. I'm not a baby inside unique of my DNA. mom's same stomach. Same thing, you kill a baby, you can't recreate the same baby. If you're not ready to take care of a child a week out of the womb, then you shouldn't have so then you shouldn't have gone through that pregnancy in the and, first and place. And I would say that if you're not ready to take care of a child outside the womb, you shouldn't be having sex. What if she was raped? Well, if she was raped, well, in that case, I would say that we still shouldn't kill the child because the child's innocent. I'd say rapist, death penalty. You know, we, if we're 100% sure on who the rapist is, that he raped her, death penalty for him. As for the child, child did nothing wrong, right? Child's completely innocent. We shouldn't punish children for the crimes of their fathers. As for the mother, we should provide as much financial resources, support, everything that we can for that mother because obviously this is a difficult situation. I will point out that uh, less than 1% of situations of abortion are due to rape. If you look at the state of Florida, they record a reason for every abortion. 0.15% of abortions are cited, the reason cited is rape. So it's a very, very minute number of cases. But once again, we should not kill children for the sins of their fathers. We should provide as much support as we can. Yep. Okay, so if we're providing so much, as much support as we can, why not allow women to choose what they want to do with their body? I'm just confused. How there's, does this? How does this? There's a body inside your body. How does this? How does this affect you? 